Welcome to the channel, my name is Matias. Today we're back with the Spider-Verse crossover and today we're going to cover Amazing Spider-Man issues 10 and 11, Spider-Verse team up 1 and 2, and Scarlet Spiders issue 1. So without further ado, let's get into this. So as I mentioned in the first video, we have a group of villains, they're called the Inheritors. They're a family that go across the multiverse trying to consume the life essence of all the spider people across the multiverse. Morlin was one of these Inheritors who had clashed against 616 Spider-Man a while back. So now in the story, we have two teams of spider people, one being led by Superior Spider-Man and the other one reluctantly led by Peter Parker, trying to save as many spider people across the multiverse as possible. And the Inheritors are really hot on their heels, like every once in a while they catch up and they pick off a couple of spider people off each one of these teams. And what ends up happening is that these two spider teams end up fusing together and there's a brief load of battle between Superior Spider-Man and 616 Spider-Man for who's going to be the leader. So before we get into the battle itself, I have to explain why Peter Parker from 616 was chosen as the leader of his respective group. So we discovered that 616 Spider-Man is the only Spider-Man or Spider-Person across all of the Spider-Verse that was able to defeat an Inheritor. Actually twice, he defeated Morlin two times, even though he was killed by Morlin. But then he came back from the dead and he killed Morlin again. So we get this really cool battle between Superior Spider-Man and Original Recipe Spider-Man. And the interesting thing is that Superior Spider-Man thinks that this Spider-Man is pulled from the past and he doesn't know that he's going to be the host body to Otto Octavius while OG Spider-Man is actually from Otto Octavius' future and that he regained his body and Otto Octavius technically died. So during the battle we have a lot of subtext that's very well told there and we have Peter Parker showing a lot of restraint but taking Superior Spider-Man down. So we have a big problem now because so many spider people congregated in one place caused the attention of the big papa inheritor. His name is Solus. He's like the patriarch to the inheritor family and the dude's gigantic and he seems to be a powerhouse. He actually kills Cosmic Spider-Man with no effort. So there we have the cliffhanger to the end of the Amazing Spider-Man issues. So now we have the Spider-Man team up issues and in these we have two stories per issue. Basically how each member of the spider team was recruited. Now in the first team up issue we discover that the inheritors also use villains from Spider-Man's Rose Gallery and pull all the versions of that particular villain from the multiverse too. So they're trying to rescue this spider dude and we have a bunch of vultures on the attack. In the second issue we have Miles Morales go to the old school Spider-Man cartoon from the 60s. I'm not sure if it was from the 60s or 70s but the art is really fantastic in that issue. Also, we have the origins to Spider-Gwen, and we discovered in that universe, Peter Parker was actually the Hobgoblin, and he was killed by the Inheritors. Now, the Scarlet Spiders miniseries, it was three issues long, and some pretty interesting stuff takes place here. First, the really interesting thing is that all the characters that are in this story are clones of Spider-Man, be it Ultimate Spider-Woman, Ben Riley, and Kane. They actually travel to the Inheritors' homeworld and discover that the Inheritors have like this resurrection protocol, very similar to the one in Krakoa. Every time an inheritor gets killed, they have a body waiting for their mind just to be downloaded into it and they brought back to life. But I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.